Hi, this is Carl the Landscape Guy. Most of you already know about my 3000 square foot pond. And for a few years now, the size and number of koi are constantly increasing, especially due to the offspring. In a natural body of water, the fish population would be naturally regulated by predators. But at my pond, I keep possible predators away with the cormorant net. This allows the fish to lead a rather carefree life. However, I have to be careful that the pond doesn't become overstocked. This can have a particularly negative effect on the oxygen content of the pond water. Not only the fish themselves, but also the microorganisms depend on oxygen to break down the fish excrements. This means that if the oxygen levels are too low, the fish excreta such as ammonium cannot be broken down quickly enough by the microorganisms. In worst cases, this can lead to the excessive formation of ammonia in the water, which would destroy the gills of the fish and ultimately kill them. So that it doesn't get to that point, I will measure the oxygen content of the water today. For this, I'm using the Tetra Test O2. I take a bucket of water from the pot and 15 milliliters of water go into the sample tube. Next, I add five drops of the first bottle and then five from the second one. Close the sample, flip it once and wait 30 seconds. Then add 5 drops from the third bottle. Mix it again and the water should turn reddish. The stronger the color, the more oxygen in the water. So this sample is about 3 milligrams per liter. If the pot water is not quite clear, as it is here, then it can make reading the results a little difficult. However, the oxygen content in the pot water seems quite low. At the moment, the water temperature is at 71 degrees Fahrenheit. During the summer right now, there is less water in the pond, which can worsen the situation if it gets even hotter. Therefore, I decided to install an air pump with an aeration ring. The Aquaphor to aerator ring is weighted with stainless steel pieces and connected to the airline with a T-piece. In another video, I used this AP150 aerator pump for a short time to aerate a holding tank for the koi. That had worked very well. This aeration system is available in different sizes and this aerator ring has a diameter of about 30 inches. Now the system will be used in the pond. To test it out first, I'm temporarily using an extension cord reel. If the pump does what it claims, then I intend to lay an underground cable. Now of course I need a long hose because the aerator ring will be placed at the deepest point in the middle of the pond. With the stainless steel weights, the ring is quite heavy and I intend to throw it the last couple of meters so that I don't have to get in all the way. I excavated the pond myself so I know about where it gets deeper. Of 
Okay, that worked and now I position the holes reasonably straight towards the edge. I put the pump at a higher level close to the pond. I also put a pavement slab underneath it so that it's stable and doesn't suck in dirt. Now I lay the holes up to the pump. It is about 12 meters from the aerator ring to the pump. The shorter the holes, the better because compressed air causes high friction in the line. Nevertheless, I leave the length of the holes as it is now because this is to test if the aeration can measurably increase the oxygen content in the pond. Okay then, we can start it. It looks like it's coming out well. The hose is about five and a half feet deep. And the pump has a capacity of 40 gallons per minute. For the output, the pump is not really loud. I use a mason bucket to temporarily protect the pump from rain. This is practical because both the extension cord reel and the pump fits well underneath. So I let the ventilation pump run 24 hours a day, one week. So I let the aerated pump run for 24 hours a day for one week. At the moment, the weather is quite stable and it has not rained either. So, I am now curious about the second oxygen test. I do the test again exactly as before and we want to see if the oxygen content has noticeably increased after having the aeration system in effect for a week. And indeed, the oxygen content is now at about 10 mg per liter after a week of continuous operation. Here again are both samples side by side. The left is before and the right is after 7 days of continuous aeration. During the 7 days, it did not rain and there were otherwise no other substances introduced into the water. The day temperatures were quite even between 71 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The water temperature was constant at about 68 degrees Fahrenheit and I estimated the current pond volume at about 90,000 gallons of water. So I think this is a pretty representative test and I hope this video is helpful. I am pleased that the use of the air pump has also been successful in this larger body of water. Products used are linked in the video description. On my channel you will find many more videos about ponds and koi. There will be always new videos so please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck with your projects. Until next time, I'm called the Landscape Guy.